We asked some of our IM family to share whose legacy and what inspired them to go continue the mission themselves. Dennis and Carol Teague helped me to see the legacy as a missionary. For me, it's God's promise that He is going to redeem the world. Growing up, we were first inspired to continue the mission by the examples of Jerry and Carol Pinkerton, Eddie Payne, and Donnie and Ruth McDonald. With me being an MK, I will see my parents, Mark and Huli Riggs. I am inspired by Donnie McNaught and Keith Hopper for their passion minister in Japan. It was Dr. Ron Calloway who encouraged me to take some of the first steps to becoming a missionary. The legacy of Tim and Susan Driscoll and the legacy of Clint and Lynette Morgan. Keith and Joni Hubbard. I'm inspired by retired missionary and professor Ronald Calloway for his love and obedience to the gospel. Judy and I are serving the Lord today in Japan because of the legacy of Fred and Evelyn Hersey and Jim and Orlena McLean. My parents, Tim and Christy Johnson. Now let's hear some more stories about what inspired them to go. My dad has always been involved in missions work in some way for as long as I can remember and has exposed me to it since I was a little girl. And even though he was never called to go internationally, it's through his heart for missions and his heart for other missionaries that I've been inspired to do my part in fulfilling the Great Commission. When I was eight years old, I remember Jerry and Barb Gibbs coming to my church in Belmont, North Carolina and telling our church about their ministry in a city called saint Isaiah, France. Later on, after I'd grown up some and went off to college, I had Tom McCullough as my missions professor. And he again shared about his love for the people in the Little Wooden Church. And so many years later, I'm a part of their legacy that here I am today in the Little Wooden Church in saint Isaiah, France, which is called home. I grew up in a pastor's home. So the missionaries that stayed with us were some of my first influences towards missions. I remember especially the Banks, the Bryans, the Murrays, and Alice Smith. When I was 15 years old, I met Jerry and Carol Pinkerton. Miss Carol told me about a student missions program called E-Team, and her invitation started me on a trajectory that I'm still on today. As a child, my mom's involvement in women's auxiliary was a big influence in my life. And Eddie Payne was my missions professor and he had a huge impact in my life as well. What inspired me to continue the mission by serving as a missionary is actually studying the Bible and seeing the need and getting a burning desire to share the good news with others. We were inspired by the, maybe the greatest missionary of all time, the Apostle Paul. As he directed us to the Book of Romans to go where the name of Christ has not been named before. Very early in my faith journey, I had the joy and blessing of meeting Miss Volina Wilson, the great I am missionary to India. Uh, her influence and inspiration uh, challenged me to continue the mission. What really inspired me to become a missionary are biblical characters, people of the past and in the present who serve God faithfully. My favorite uh, Bible character is John Mark and today one of the good examples for me for a person of faith and a missionary is Tim Autry. Carol Pinkerton came to visit Welch College or Fwibic when I was there and I was so touched by the story she told and about how she talked about her relationship with God and how much she loved him, how people needed to hear about the gospel. And it just made an impression. And I thought, I want to do that. When I think of my um, inspiration to uh, go into missions, the first name that comes to my mind uh, is my aunt, Ruth McDonald, and uh, of course her husband, Donnie. Donnie and Ruth McDonald, as a kid, I grew up getting to hear them talk about the work in Japan and just getting to hear personally some of the things and they all, I was just always looked up to them and uh, it's great because in, in this last year the, I was reminded again of why they inspired me when they were able to visit me here in Bulgaria so there were many legacies that impacted the decision of going into missions for me uh, for example I 
Growing up, I read so many books from different missionaries, specifically Gori Tamboom. Uh, her life and her story really, really inspired me. Um, my parents were also a legacy that inspired me. There were several missionaries who spoke into my life and uh, in some way influenced me as it relates to missions, but no one like Dan Cronk. Dan Cronk served as a missionary to India, came back to the States, taught at Welch College. That's where I got to know him and then uh, served on our board and became a mentor to me and to several other missionaries. So when I look back and the person who shaped my thinking, no doubt about missions, the most was Dan Cronk.